Thank you for joining today's online travel presentation, where we will talk about five things to know about Canada Rail Vacations. My name is Lynn, and I am pleased to be your moderator for this presentation. We understand that now is not an easy time to travel, but it is the perfect time to start planning your next trip. So thank you for being here to learn more about Canada Rail Vacations. Before we begin, I'd like to mention two things. The first is we will hold all questions until the end. If during the presentation you do have questions, please type them in the question box in the GoToWebinar toolbar, and we will cover them at the end of the session. And second, there will be two polling questions, and we encourage you to participate. So let's get started. As I mentioned, I am Lynn, and I'll be your moderator, and I am pleased to introduce our presenter, Graham, one of our knowledgeable rail specialists. So now that you know a little bit about us, we'd like to get to know a little bit about more, more about you uh, with our first polling question. So we've gone ahead and launched it, and it is, have you taken a train journey in Canada? So we'll leave this open for about 20 seconds to let everyone select their response. All right, so it looks like just about everybody has responded. So I'm going to close the poll and it looks as though about 30% have traveled by train in Canada. So hopefully um, Graham will share some new interesting pieces of information for you and for everyone else, you're in for a real treat. But before we dive into Canada's trains, I want to give you a little bit of information about Vacations by Rail. We are the leading rail vacations company in the United States and the trusted authority on rail. We offer the largest collection of vacations to destinations around the globe, and the cornerstone of each is a rail journey aboard at least one of the world's iconic trains. Vacations by Rail is a great rail journeys company backed by more than 45 years of experience in the specialty of global rail tours. We are a member of the National Tour Association, American Bus Association, and we are AARP's preferred rail provider. In addition to unmatched vacations, we offer best-in-class customer care from your first caller email to re your return home from your trip. So Canada is a great destination for a rail vacation. It is easy to get to by air from many U.S. gateways and even by Amtrak trains from uh, the Pacific Northwest and in New England. Once you've arrived in Canada, there are a variety of vacation options depending on what you want to see and do ranging from the Canadian Rockies to cosmopolitan cities like Vancouver and Toronto, and even special events like the Calgary Stampede each summer or Quebec's Carnival in the winter. And just, and just like there are a variety of destinations based on your interests, there are a variety of train experiences, ranging from classic overnight rail trips to all daylight journeys. Now, Graham will tell you all about these. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce him and Graham can tell us five things we need to know about Canada Rail Vacations. Thank you, Lynn. Hello, everyone. My name's Graham, and uh, as Lynn mentioned, I am one of our rail specialists uh, here to talk you through some of our fantastic uh, Canadian itineraries. Um, and the first takeaway about Canada Rail Vacations is understanding just how vast Canada is. Uh, and so is its national uh, rail network via Rail Canada. So whether you're interested in covering long distances or short jaunts, there is a train and a route for you. So traveling by train in Canada is the most efficient way to connect the country's top destinations. Uh, as you can see from this map, via Rail's routes can quite literally take you from coast to coast. While all of these routes are magnificent and provide a truly memorable adventure, I'd like to bring your attention to three train routes in particular, which are used to, utilized in many of our most popular itineraries. So let's start with Via Rail's corridor service. Uh, there are over 36 trains that are collectively referred to as corridor trains. Uh, they travel between Quebec City and Windsor with 11 total routes. Travellers have the choice of economy or business class, and both classes include comfortable seating and large windows, 
However, business class passengers enjoy priority seating and meal and beverages included in the price uh, of the ticket. Uh, next up is Via Rails Ocean. Uh, the first overnight train will talk about it. Uh, it offers stunning views of eastern Canada as it makes the journey between Montreal and Halifax. While on board the ocean, guests can enjoy such amenities as, as regional cuisine in the dining car, free Wi-Fi, and beautiful, beautiful views from the dome car. And finally, the Canadian is a 1950s era steam uh, streamliner train that follows Via Rail's signature route between Toronto and Vancouver. That is a four-night journey that traverses the plains, river valleys, and Canadian Rockies. Uh, you can take this four-night journey in its entirety, break up your journey with stops in popular destinations such as the Canadian Rockies, or simply embark on a one-night trip, for instance, between Vancouver and Jasper. So vacations by rail includes only sleeper plus class aboard the Canadian in our itineraries, which ensures all meals and access to the lounge cars are included. Within sleeper plus, there are several accommodation levels um, and you can see some of the um, cabin layouts uh, in this slide. So on the left, we have a semi-private berth. So if you think of those old movies where passengers are traveling overnight, these berths will take you back there. Uh, daytime configuration features a couch style seat facing another seat and at night the seat converts into a bed. There are heavy curtains that can be pulled for privacy and public washrooms and shower facilities are available within the train car. Uh, the middle image is a private cabin for one um, and in the private cabin where during the day you'll have a seat by a large picture window and at night it is converted for you into a lower bunk. Uh, there is a toilet in your cabin and there is a shared shower located down the hall. Uh, finally, on the right is a uh, cabin for two, which is a private cabin where during the day you have two seats by a large picture window with a fold down table in between. And at night you have a lower and upper berth. There is a toilet in your cabin and a shared shower located down the hall. Uh, guests can also upgrade to Prestige Class, which you can see on the image on the left. Uh, Prestige Class provides a premier level of comfort and service. Uh, each Prestige Class cabin has a modular leather L-shaped couch by day and a Murphy bed for two by night facing the window with electric radiant heated cabin floors and walls that maintain a comfortable and constant temperature. Uh, highlights of this Prestige Class include a personalized dedicated service by the Prestige Concierge, a spacious cabin, large windows, and a private washroom with shower, flat screen TV with video selection, mini bar stocked with a selection of beverages and more. Uh, also, just to give you an idea of a standard cabin for two, uh, that is what you can see on the image uh, on the right uh, in the, the kind of the nighttime layout. Uh, in the dining car from breakfast to dinner, you can explore a gourmet three course menu. Uh, the menu items are carefully selected from Canadian artisans. You can purchase a selection of local beers and wines by the glass to accompany your meal. Uh, if you're traveling in the prestige class, all alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks are free of charge throughout your trip. Uh, travelers can admire the changing scenery from the park car and the skyline dome car um, from, or from your uh, accommodations picture window. So when many people think about a classic overnight rail adventure in Canada, they think about the Canadian, um, they think about the Canadian. Uh, the Canadian Rockies by rail is hands down a favorite amongst our travelers. Uh, so I'm going to talk you through the itinerary now. Uh, so this is a seven day independent itinerary, uh, which means that everything is, is planned for you, but you are traveling on your own and setting your own pace. The route takes you from, from Vancouver to Jasper, Lake Louise, Banff and Calgary. Uh, this itinerary has it all. A stay in the coastal city of Vancouver, visits to the most popular towns in the Canadian Rockies and one night aboard Via Rail's Canadian. This is a great trip for any traveller, whether you're new to overnight rail adventures or a seasoned long distance train traveller. And uh, these are just some of the images that you can uh, experience um, on board this trip. So uh, you have um, 
uh, Vancouver in the top left, uh, the um, Via Rail Canadian in the top right, uh, obviously the Canadian Rockies um, with the wildlife in the bottom right, and then the Banff gondola. Um, the majestic Canadian Rockies span nearly 69,500 square miles across two provinces. Uh, along this great expanse are quiet alpine towns and breathtaking scenery. When combined with private first-class accommodation aboard Via Rail's Canadian, it makes for the perfect romantic getaway. Start with a day at leisure to discover the iconic city of Vancouver. You will then board the renowned Canadian bound for your next destination, which is Jasper. And along your way, you'll be witness to the awe-inspiring sights of the Canadian Rockies, uh, which are a truly spectacular vision. Once in Jasper, you will have time to explore the beautiful town before taking a day excursion to the Columbia Icefield uh, en route to Lake Louise. Amid scenery of majestic cascading mountains, you'll spend the night at Lake Louise before continuing to your next destination, Banff, uh, home to Hot Springs and the spectacular Banff National Park. With your two days of sightseeing, you will witness sites like the Surprise Corner, Tunnel Mountain Drive, and a unique gondola ride to the top of the Sulphur Mountain. Your exciting rail journey ends after your stay in Banff as you transfer to Calgary to make your way home. Well-planned sightseeing and ample time at your leisure complete this itinerary to create a truly memorable vacation by rail. And so these are just some of the highlights of the tour. Uh, and one of the most popular, popular excursions, which I mentioned, is to the Columbia Icefield, uh, one of the largest non-polar icefields in the world, uh, and also a ride on the uh, Ice Explorer, which uh, for those that don't know, um, people may describe it as a bus, um, except it has six wheels and goes both on-road and off-road. So uh, it's a great kind of excursion to, to explore the ice fields on. And so the second thing to know about rail in Canada is that Western Canada is home to one of the world's greatest rail journeys aboard the premier all day light train, Rocky Mountaineer. This is on many bucket lists and for good reason. Immerse yourself in awe expiring beauty as you travel the historic paths of 19th century explorers, winding through the wilderness, river valleys and mountain towns of Western Canada. So here is the, the Rocky Mountaineer itself, and this luxury, this luxury train follows three distinct routes into the heart of the Rocky Mountains, each of which is rich in history and natural wonders. From the moment you step on board the train, your hosts go above and beyond to make your experience as comfortable as it is unforgettable. The all daylight train features custom designed rail coaches providing panoramic views of the surrounding wilderness and outdoor viewing platforms allow you to immerse yourself in the fresh mountain air. And on board Rocky Mountaineer, there are two levels of service, uh, which are gold leaf and uh, silver leaf. So with gold leaf service, indulge your senses with gourmet meals pre prepared by executive chefs and expansive views throughout the panoramic windows of a bi-level glass dome coach to the Canadian Rockies. Stretch your legs and your viewing angles in our bi-level glass dome coaches, sink into your spacious seat on the upper level and enjoy meals in the lower level dining area. Step out onto your exclusive outdoor viewing platform to get closer to the action. Save at every second as you enjoy elegantly plated meals prepared with local ingredients from the comfort of a dedicated dining room, all the while sprawling views of the Rocky Mountains will, will be unfolding right outside your window. Sit back and enjoy the scenery as our hosts attend to your every need. From entertaining you with stories about passing landmarks to topping up your glass of wine and calling out wildlife sightings, you can rest assured that everything will be taken care of. Silverleaf service gives you everything you need and more to experience the majesty of the Rocky, Mountain, of the Rocky Mountains in luxury. Panoramic views, delicious meals and beverages brought right to your seat, friendly hosts and complimentary baggage transfers, and miles and miles of memories. Custom designed glass dome coaches give you a truly panoramic view of your surroundings. The oversized windows give you a clean, crisp view and make the photography a snap. So you can take it all in from the comfort of your reclining chair, or you can get a little bit closer in our outdoor viewing area. 
Enjoy gourmet meals um, served in the comfort of your seat and a friendly team of hosts and culinary team members will serve your meals, entertain you with stories, take care of those special requests and ensure your comfort so that you, so that you can focus on the journey ahead. And so our second itinerary and one of our favorites that features the Rocky Mountaineer is the seven day Canadian Rockies featuring Banff and Lake Louise independent itinerary. So this seven day journey through Canada puts gorgeous scenery at every turn. Your vacation begins with two days of sightseeing in Vancouver. And then we board the Rocky Mountaineer for two days of daylight only travel alongside rivers, canyons and forests to the beautiful destinations of Lake Louise. From here, the journey continues through mountains to the resort town of Banff, which is renowned for its variety of outdoor attractions and activities and its charming downtown area. Ride the gondola to the top of the Sulphur Mountain, visit the hot springs and shop the boutiques over the course of two days before the tour concludes with a transfer to Calgary. Uh, these are just some of the beautiful images that you can witness on this particular trip. Um, so on the left, you have a view from the Sulphur Mountain, which as, as we said, you can take the gondola up to. It's around about an eight minute um, gondola ride up to the, up to the summit. Uh, the Rocky Mountaineer train uh, in the top right image. Uh, in the bottom right, you uh, have Vancouver. Um, and then, yeah, there you can see in the bottom left, uh, oh, sorry, in the bottom left, that is actually the, uh, the Banff, yeah, the Banff gondola. So some of the highlights of the tour and obviously the main highlight um, being the journey on the Rocky Mountaineer um, and as you saw some from some of the fantastic images um, uh, in the previous slide the fantastic scenery you will get to experience on board the train uh, however there are also some spectacular sightseeing in Banff where you visit the, the cave and basin national historic site and then the journey to the summit of Sulphur Mountain will give you spectacular 360 degree views uh, of the area. And so the third thing to know about um, Canada is that uh, both Via Rail and Rocky Mountaineer offer amazing and different experiences. If you're trying to, select, to, to decide how to select one, I'm happy to tell you that the third thing you need to know about Canada Rail Vacations is that you can have it all. So why pick one experience when you can have both? Uh, and you can have both on our Canada coast to coast. And this is the most epic of rail itineraries featuring travel aboard four trains. You have the Rocky Mountaineer, Via Rails Canadian, uh, the Corridor Service and the Ocean. So all four trains that we've kind of discussed already, uh, you can experience all of them on this one particular itinerary. And so this 17 day itinerary begins in Vancouver and ends in Halifax. So since Rocky Mountaineer travels only between Vancouver and the Canadian Rockies, that is the first train on the itinerary. So we make the two day journey to Banff via Kamloops. And it is in Banff that you have the opportunity to soak in all the natural majesty this region has to offer with guided and independent touring through some of the area's most iconic sites. Spend the night at Lake Louise, before visiting Banff and Jasper National Parks, Columbia Icefield and Athabasca Glacier en route to Jasper. It is in Jasper that the true rail adventure begins as you board Via Rails Canadian for a three day train ride to Toronto. Upon arrival, you will have time to tour the city and Niagara Falls before moving on to Montreal using Via Rails corridor service. Use the day to enjoy sights and sounds of the city before reboarding via rail for the final leg of your tour, this time with a night aboard the ocean. Through the scenic landscapes of Nova Scotia and New Brunswick lies Halifax, the place where this 4,000 mile tour comes to a close. And some more images um, from the tour that you'll experience. So um, just clockwise from the top, there is uh, via rails Canadian, uh, there's Banff, uh, you can see Vancouver in the top right um, image, uh, the Rocky Mountaineer, uh, Niagara Falls, and finally uh, Toronto.
And again, just some highlights of the uh, the Canada Coast to Coast tour. Um, obviously, we've mentioned about the trains, and and you know that is one of the most um, um, uh, one thing that people do love to enjoy is the trains. But there are also some fantastic sightseeing in Toronto and Montreal, uh, as well as a full day motor coach tour to Niagara Falls. Um, and within this tour, that includes a cruise on the Hornblower uh, to the base of the Horseshoe Falls. Uh, so that is something that is uh, that people really enjoy as well, and it's a fantastic ex excursion that's included on the trip as well. So if you're looking for luxury, that can certainly be found on Rocky Mountaineer or with Via Rail's Prestige class, but there is always more. The fourth takeaway about Canada Rail vacations is you can always add or refine to add just the right touch of luxury or something special, either additions or upgrades in your itinerary, for instance, hotel room upgrades, or select an itinerary when those elements of luxury are already included. So when I think about an itinerary that already includes all of those upgrades and special features, I think about the Canadian Rockies Grand Getaway. Travel in style through the Canadian West as you visit the area's highlights via private tours and relaxing upscale accommodations. So kick off this itinerary on the west coast of Canada by exploring the beautiful seaside city of Vancouver. Enjoy a stunning cruise through the Gulf Islands as you head to Vancouver Island. There you have free time to explore the beautiful Butchart Gardens and the city of Victoria. Next, you'll head into the Canadian Rockies, where you board the Rocky Mountaineer and relax as the landscape unfolds outside your window. Stop in Whistler and Quesnel before you settle into the alpine town of Jasper. Here, you will enjoy a boat cruise and explore Malign Canyon. You can also visit the Columbia Icefield and have the chance of a lifetime to enjoy a unique walk on ancient, ancient glaciers before arriving in Lake Louise for your final two nights. And uh, yeah, just some of the images that you'll experience on this um, fantastic tour uh, in the top left uh, is Whistler. Um, Vancouver, you can see in the main image on the right. You also have the uh, Yoho National Park uh, and then Victoria and the Butchart Gardens, uh, you can see there as well. So again, just some of the uh, the main highlights of the tour, which include the deluxe hotel accommodations, uh, as well as private transfers, which are included. Um, but there are also kind of private sightseeing tours as well, which um, you know are fantastic because um, you know you get to experience those um, uh, on the private tours as well. So um, in Vancouver, you can enjoy the highlights of Stanley Park, uh, Chinatown, historic Gas Town, and the Vancouver Lookout, which provides a 360 degree view of the city. Uh, then you take the ferry ride to Vancouver Island and, and enjoy plenty of free time to, to explore downtown Victoria. Um, and as we as we mentioned about the, the Butchart Gardens, uh, which features exotic floral displays from all over the world. Uh, you then head back to Vancouver via a 35 minute float plane ride. Uh, in Jasper, you can view the gems of this area on a private tour showcasing Jasper National Park's natural wonders. As we mentioned, you'll visit the beautiful Malign Canyon and Athabasca viewpoint, viewpoint and enjoy the stunning scenery on a Malign Lake Cruise as well. Uh, there is also a private tour of Yoho National Park and the stunning sights it has to offer. Uh, enjoy stops at Kicking Horse Pass, Moraine Lake, Valley of the Ten Peaks and Takakor Falls. And lastly, embark on a Canada rail and cruise vacation and experience the best of both worlds, a rail vacation aboard one of Canada's premier trains and a scenic cruise through the pristine waters in and around Canada. These cruise and train trips highlight destinations throughout Eastern and Western Canada and select tours connect cities in both regions. Your train to cruise holiday begins with a great rail component. Select the train experience you wish to have, either an overnight rail journey, an all daylight train adventure, or a short jaunt on a regional train as the cornerstone of your package. Once in the coastal city of Vancouver, considered the gateway to Alaska, embark on a seaside adventure aboard a luxurious cruise ship.
And since Vancouver is considered the gateway to Alaska, let's talk about a popular rail and Alaska cruise vacation, which is Canada's Rocky and Alaska cruise. So set your sights on the best of the Canadian Rockies as you arrive in Calgary and transfer to the resort town of Banff. Enjoy a sightseeing tour, quintessential Banff sites such as the hot springs, a gondola ride and much more over the course of two days before transferring to Lake Louise for an overnight in Lake Louise, Louise's iconic chateau. The next morning, soak up the scenery and board an ice explorer for a trek onto the Athabasca Glacier en route to Jasper. You'll have a full day to explore the beautiful town of Jasper and its eponymous national park. The following day, it is all aboard Via Rails Canadian for an exciting ride through the mountains to Vancouver. Taking all of the historic sites and iconic neighborhoods this coastal city has to offer with a hop on hop off tour before stepping aboard Holland America's MS Neue Amsterdam for a seven night cruise through Alaska's inside pa passage. There are ample opportunities to explore during the journey, including excursions to Juneau, Skagway and Ketchikan. The ship heads through the awe-inspiring Inside Passage before returning to port in Vancouver, where the tour comes to a close. And again, just some of the uh, some of the sites you'll see on this tour. Um, so the main image you see in the top left is uh, cruising through Alaska's inside package. Um, the top right is uh, Wales, which uh, fingers crossed you will have a chance to see in Glacier Bay. Um, and that image you can see in the bottom right. Um, in the uh, the middle, you can uh, see Vancouver. Um, there are also bears as well, which you can sometimes be seen on the cruise through Glacier Bay as well. Uh, finally, in the bottom left uh, is Via Rails Canadian on the journey from Jasper to Vancouver. And just some final highlights of this particular tour. Uh, so uh, Juneau, Alaska's capital city, is home to endless sites to explore, including the um, Mendenhall Glacier, the colossal Juneau ice fields, and Tongass National Forest, the largest national forest in the United States. Uh, Glacier Bay also contains 16 glaciers and has more actively carving icebergs than anywhere else in the world. You may even see pods of whales or bears fishing along the shoreline. Uh, on board the cruise, National Park Service Rangers and local Huna Tlingit cultural guides join us on board to provide invaluable insight into the incredible ecosystem that surrounds us. We also learn more about the native culture throughout their presentations. And so as I mentioned when we spoke about adding and enhancing elements of your trip, uh, you can enhance your experience with upgrades. Uh, you can add things such as excursions, you can add a cruise, um, extra nights hotel, or possibly just upgrade the hotels or class of service. Uh, it's all possible on our, uh, on, on our Canada independent package. Uh, so please be sure to speak with your rail specialist for additional ideas. Uh, thank you for listening. And I'll now hand you back over to Lynn for our second polling question. Thanks so much, Graham. That was wonderful to hear. Our second polling question is, what type of Canada vacation would you like to have? So um, I, I believe you can select more than one answer here, and, and there's so many great choices. Um, an overnight rail journey, an all daylight rail journey, a combination of both overnight and daylight, or a combination of rail and cruise. Um, so go ahead and select your responses and um, we'll leave this open for about 15 more seconds. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close the poll. And it looks as though the majority of our attendees noted they'd like to enjoy an overnight rail journey, followed closely by a combination of both overnight and all daylight train travel. If you'd like to learn more about our Canada rail vacations or any of our rail journeys around the globe, you can request one of our brochures by calling 877-929-7245 or visiting vacationsbyrail.com. 
To make a reservation or to speak with any of our rail specialists, you can call toll free at 877-929-7245. You can also book online at www.vacationsbyrail.com. So uh, we do have a few questions from our attendees, Graham. So if it's okay, I'm okay. going to lob sure. some over your way. The first is, can I enjoy prestige class for just one night on the train? Um, no, so prestige class is actually only available to book on the longer uh, cross country journeys between uh, either Vancouver and Toronto uh, or Jasper and Toronto. Um, so for that, uh, that one night trip between Vancouver and Jasper, uh, there isn't prestige class available. Okay, thank you. Um, the second question is, can I add nights in any destination along my route? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, sometimes we may just need to check that it fits in with, uh, with the train schedule. Uh, but if it does, then yeah, it's absolutely fine to add on additional nights. Great. Uh, the next question is, can I add a car rental? Make it a rail drive vacation. Yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah, no, it's very, very popular to do in, in almost all of the locations. You can add car rental onto the booking. Um, and yeah, this is actually quite a popular thing to do on, on a lot of our Eastern Canada tours when people travel around kind of Halifax in the Prince Edward, Edward Island area. Uh, it's very popular to do kind of the, the rail and drive option. Oh, that's great. Um, the last question, are there choices of accommodations on the cruise ship? Uh, yeah, there are different cabin upgrades that are available on the ship. Um, I think they, they range from kind of an inside stateroom up to a uh, veranda suite. Uh, and your, uh, yeah, your rail specialist will always be happy to talk you through those differences uh, in each of the staterooms. Great. Um, if your question wasn't answered, one of our rail specialists will be in touch with you after the presentation to ensure you get a response. But that is all the time we have for today. So that concludes our presentation. And I want to thank you all so much for attending. Have a great day.